Hi everyone, and a very happy new year to you all. Today we're looking at four different operating systems for the Pine Phone. What you're seeing on the screen is the first of them. It's Ubuntu Touch, and as you can see, I just got a SMS text message from Santa. Santa has been good to me this year and brought me a pair of gloves and a scarf, so I'm very thankful for that. Um, as you're watching all of these demos, please keep in mind that um, all the OS images are still very much in a alpha state and various aspects um, of these OSs may work or may not work and there may be uh, bigger or smaller issues with them, such as, for instance, here, I don't know if you can tell or not, but uh, the right hand or the right side of the screen is cropped a little bit. Um, the browser doesn't scale correctly. So, Ubuntu Touch is probably one of the more feature-complete operating systems uh, for the Pine Phone right now. It is not, um, it's not without um, issues. Now, what you're seeing here is uh, um, is web browsing on LTE. You probably saw that cut just a, uh, a second ago. Um, I am currently abroad. I recorded over 30 minutes of content for the three different, uh, for the four different operating systems, but I am on very slow LTE and um, the computer that I'm using to render this video is a Pinebook Pro using uh, OpenShot and given the relatively limited power of the Pinebook Pro for rendering purposes as well as the slow connection speed um, I had to cut this down to uh, 10 minutes or so so you will be seeing cuts in, vid in this video all of these OS's are running um, a very similar software stack um, that includes the kernel, developers are working on the kernel um, together and then they just add their bits and bobs specific to their operating systems on, on top of the uh, on top of the common repo so um, the graphics here are being rendered using the open source Lima driver and as you can tell in this QT based OS um, yeah it's performing really really quite well it's running really smoothly and uh, I'm sure that this is one of the OS's that people are uh, considering um, being their um, open drive um, their daily driver at some point in the future one of the little bits of functionality that I really wanted to showcase um, but uh, was unable to is um, is uh, camera functionality um, which works on um, both Ubuntu Touch as well as PostMarket OS. Uh, speaking of, you should be seeing PostMarket OS uh, with Fosh running in the background right now. Um, getting back to the cameras, it seems that a kernel rebase or something else uh, has broken um, the cameras um, in current OS images so unfortunately I was unable to um, to showcase this at this point in time both the front and the back camera uh, drivers are currently already available uh, for the phone but uh, they still remain to be implemented um, into the various uh, operating systems now mm, Fosh really surprised me it runs really nice. First of all, it's a very nice front end. It's very pleasant to um, to interact with, and it runs really, really quite snappily. Now, uh, the inbuilt browser isn't quite as fast as on the uh, Qt uh, based uh, front ends, but other than that, it is extremely snappy. And as you will see me, kind of going through. Um, uh, various applications and uh, doing uh, other things such as changing settings uh, here in a little bit you'll see that it, it really really is uh, is really quite performant
looking up performance, I think that it's worth pointing out that all of these operating systems are running off of um, SD cards in, in these demos. And this has some significance because um, applications, uh, the, the pace at which applications open, as well as uh, some functionality such as caching in, uh, in web browsers, is heavily affected by slow storage. Uh, so uh, you could expect that uh, running these same operating systems from from the inbuilt uh, EMMC memory would certainly improve performance even further. Um, now about this post-market OS with Fosh um, um, build. Now I don't know how much of a test build um, or just a um, what would you call it prototyping developmental uh, idea this is I know that uh, in general the flagship build uh, from Postmarket OS for the Pine Phone uh, uses um, uh, um, Plasma Mobile now I chose not to use Plasma Mobile uh, in this demo for a purpose that's because the next operating system coming up soon is uh, KDE Neon using that front end so just for the sake of having some um, diversity I chose uh, Fosh here but as you see me here kind of just flipping through this, these different applications and uh, opening and closing them and um, trying stuff out, uh, especially this uh, popping up this drawer. It's uh, really nice and fast, so um, I don't know if Postmark OS will consider making this into a full-fledged image uh, eventually, but I uh, certainly would consider this perfectly uh, viable. All right, and next up is, as I already said, here we have uh, KD Neon with uh, Plasma Mobile front end running. Now this is a very interesting build um, in part as uh, as you'll see due to the um, the Discover Store uh, which allows you to install just all the different applications you would expect on a um, KD uh, Neon build uh, desktop build the performance of uh, Plasma Mobile itself has come a very long way. Now I've seen this uh, this front end for probably six months now, and uh, since the earlier iterations, I can see how how much has how much work has gone into making it uh, user friendlier and uh, just uh, overall um, better. And I was also extremely impressed by how well the Falcon web browser runs on this build. Now um, I only know the Falcon web browser from um, from KD Neon uh, desktop image where I use it probably for a, a few seconds and um, after that I immediately switched uh, to Firefox because uh, performance was quite uh, quite poor. But here it performs really well and uh, as you'll see in a bit here, uh, even uh, videos and uh, other uh, media just play very, very nicely. And web pages just they just uh, show up pretty much instantaneously. So very good. Uh, same can be said for uh, just uh, general scaling um, to a mobile screen. It just it just kind of just works. Uh, it's a very pleasant experience, and uh, probably uh, apart from the inbuilt uh, browser on um, Ubuntu Touch, this is very likely the best browsing experience I've, I've had uh, so far on, on the Pine Phone. Now you may be seeing some slowdowns or um, stutter as uh, these uh, web pages load. And despite um, this Pine Phone being connected to Wi-Fi, um, this Wi-Fi is uh, running off of genuinely dog slow LTE as well. So I 
don't know how much of the slowdowns are related to the pretty poor LTE and how much of it is related to um, the browser underperforming. And here we have probably one of my personal favorites, Balloon OS, uh, which I think is a dark horse, so to speak, uh, among the operating systems for the Python phone. Now, I was unable to get it to connect to Wi-Fi. Um, I think that the developers haven't switched um, the drivers for the wireless card, which changed from uh, the dev kit um, to the dev phone. And in result, I am unable to show you any uh, web browsing uh, demos or um, any cellular uh, connectivity uh, either. But LunaOS runs, I don't know how well it comes across on video here, but it runs really, really quite nice. It's really, really snappy and it performs well. One of the little issues I encountered is that sometimes um, swipes on the screen get registered as, um, as taps um, instead. Yeah, um, you could see me tapping away in, uh, in different places uh, or uh, swiping away in different places and uh, my swipes being registered as, as taps uh, instead. So that's the last build for today. I will definitely be looking at other OSs in the future. Both Sailfish OS and Mayo Lester are certainly on my list and uh, probably something I want to take a look at in a part two. Thank you so much for watching.